Hi, LJ from LJ's How To. In a previous video, I showed you the difference between Spectrum Internet and Verizon Files. And the reason why I switched is because the Spectrum wouldn't give me that one year package deal, which brings it down to like a regular rate. I think it was about 50 bucks a month, and that was just for Internet at uh, a decently high tier as far as speed. So I switched to Files. They advertised the one gig package I'm like alright you know what anything's got to be faster than what I was having with Cablevision and it turned out that I got speeds that were way faster but through Wi-Fi and I switched to cat 6 cable ran a cable into my room and what a difference in speed and I'm gonna show you Okay, so I went from this speed right here with the Spectrum to what I'm showing you here. This is my original speed test with the Wi-Fi. And you see the ping's pretty good for, and we're cooking for and change for download. Not bad at all. And, uh, you know, again, compared to the Spectrum, kicking some butt. And uh, we're going to see the upload. I'm highlighting the, uh, the ping again. And the upload is... You know, 260. I mean, we're kicking some butt, and this is really important um, when you're doing video conferencing. You're sending uh, data upstream, and that's usually the weak spot. Now, I'm going to show you um, what the difference is with a Cat5 cable. By the way, I believe the fastest you can get at an 802.11n Wi Fi, a MIMO setup, is about 600 megabytes per second. All right, so I ran a Cat6 cable to the bedroom ran it to the switch and split it so this goes to my computer and I have another video on a quick review on this uh, switch but anyway so plugged it into the switch now we got wired connection I'm gonna show you the difference okay so here we go speedtest.net we're gonna do a live speed test getting ready to rock and roll let's click go and here we go All right, busted through 900s. Awesome. Loving that download speed. Faster than I would ever need, at least at this point in time. And another biggie coming up would be the upload speed. Let's see. Okay, so look at this. We're getting 7 and change. 800. 800 and climbing upload speed. And... All right, so we hit 900 on the upload. That is awesome. Now keep in mind, this speed, testing a speed could all depend on the server that you're using for speed tests. And, and we're talking about speedtest.net in this particular instance. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to change the server. And um, one of these others could have a lot slower response. Let's try Nitel, okay? And uh, we're going to click and see what kind of speeds we get. Okay, look at this. You see the difference already? So we're only doing a download speed, about 125. And um, upload speed probably won't even be much better. I mean, sometimes it is faster than the download. Oh, look at this. We're crawling. So when you're checking speeds, it's important to try a few different servers because that can make the biggest difference in the world as I am demonstrating right now. Let's go back again just so you see. Now, I'm remembering that this server here, Natural Wireless, usually provides a pretty kick-ass connection. So let's click Go and um try it out yeah okay so kicking butt nine and change super duper fast pings nice four milliseconds and upload coming up and yeah we're gonna bust over 900 upload and again this is important when you're doing video conferencing or sending a file somewhere, this can make a big difference with the speed. Yeah. So I have the uh, the one gigabyte service from Files. 
and you know what I get close enough all right and so this is what happens when you switch from Wi-Fi on files to a cat 6 cable connection when you're subscribing to the one gigabit service thanks for watching I really appreciate it if you like it click like subscribe you know the deal thanks a bunch take care